After weeks of stay at home orders tonight, we now know how local leaders are planning to reopen. Good evening, I'm Laura Moritz. Kansas City, Missouri is releasing a plan to reopen businesses once the stay at home order expires on May 15th. Mayor Quentin Lucas describes it as a 10 10 10 plan. Phase one allows buildings and businesses that service the public to reopen with 10% building occupancy or 10 people allowed inside a business, whichever is greater. Sign ins with contact information will be required required for anyone who visits a business for more than 10 minutes. The mayor says Kansas City will look different under the new rules. But we have a world where there are more people that are wearing protective equipment, particularly when they're in close quarters. We'd like to get to a point where we're seeing even more people that are wearing protective equipment, i.e. masks, when they go to the grocery store. Next Wednesday, businesses that do not have much public traffic can reopen such as salons and barber shops. Mayor Lucas says Kansas City workers also have the right to continue to work from home if possible or not come to work if they feel uncomfortable without being penalized. Kansas Governor Laura Kelly says she'll share more details about her plans to reopen in a statewide address tomorrow. Right now, the plan is to gradually start reopening the state on May 3rd. Last week, Governor Kelly said that date may change. Johnson County could extend its stay at home order through May 10th. A vote is expected on that tomorrow. The board recommends starting phase one of its reopening plan on May 11th. The first phase includes the opening of retail and commercial businesses, hair salons, gyms and restaurants with restricted guidelines. Commissioners say the extension is to keep people from coming into the county to use businesses that are not open in their area. As Kansas City announces its plan to reopen, some businesses say the plan does work for them. Restaurants say they can't survive on 10% capacity. KNBC 9's Brian Johnson is live at Jasper's Italian Restaurant near 103rd and State Line Road. Brian? Delara, Jasper's has more than 45 employees. A lot of them rely on tips, so limiting capacity for a business that relies on peak times like lunch and dinner, the owners say isn't a viable business model. The tables are set for customers, but instead of tips, only dust is collecting. They're taking my right away to make a living. Any way you look at it. Jasper That's probably thinks Jasper customers probably should have clients. options. If they want to stay home, then stay home and self isolate. That's fine. But you're taking business away from our economy in Kansas City. While surrounding cities they're making a living. In a dining area that seats 249. 25 people in the restaurants? Jasper's Italian restaurant says 10% capacity isn't doable. He says the phone has been going all day from other restaurant owners calling with the same concerns. If the president and the governor is telling us to go back to work, then why is the mayor restricting us? He says they can get by with 50% capacity and they're all for safety precautions. Wearing masks and gloves and I'll do everything they tell me to do. We're not fighting that. Jasper's has been in business for 66 years. The restaurant and market closed March 16th, and he feels it's time to reopen. I have a lot of respect for the mayor and for the health department and what they have been doing up until this point. But now to get to the results and what they want us to do, there's no way in the world anybody can do this. In Kansas City, Brian Johnson, KMBC 9 News. Jackson County stay at home order remains in effect through May 15th. The county executive's office released this statement today saying the county was not aware Kansas City was planning to change portions of its current stay at home order. The county plans to speak with public health officials to try and understand what led to the mayor's decision. Clay and Platt counties will follow a recovery plan similar to the state of Missouri when they reopen May 4th. Belton businesses may start to reopen on Monday. Mayor Jeff Davis's new order follows suit with Governor Mike Parsons plan. However, the mayor's order says each business must submit a plan outlining how it will comply with social distancing guidelines. Those plans must be dropped off at City Hall or you can email them to back to work Belton at Belton.org. Tonight, employers and employees across the metro have some big questions about how to return to work. Today, the Casey Chamber, along with three other organizations, came out with three phases for businesses, minimal reopening, reopening with physical distance, and resumed to normal. Business leaders say they're looking for clarity from public officials, but also wanted to put their own guidelines. We really think that listening to your employees and understanding if your employees don't feel comfortable returning to the workplace right now, um, that if they don't have to, um, they don't have to. 
The full guide to how businesses and employees should consider getting back to the workplace is on the Chamber's Facebook page. Businesses all over Kansas City are reacting to the mayor's plan for a soft reopening over the next few weeks. As KNBC 9's Alan Shove tells us tonight, some aren't sure how that plan affects them. And we're very anxious to reopen, so we're excited about it. Power Life Yoga on the plaza has one of the best views anywhere. This is a community is so important to us. They admit they're not really sure where they fall in the mayor's new 10 10 10 plan. I think we're way more than a gym. With shirt sales, jewelry, and yoga gear, they offer a lot more than a gym would, but say they'll follow all guidelines for a reopening. It is challenging to only have 10% of our building capacity or just 10 people in a in our space at a time. We're hoping that doesn't last very long. Classes here range from five to as many as 60 people at one time. And while they say the reopening won't be profitable, it will be a safe way to get going again. I think it will help us to kind of ease back into everything. We definitely have a strategy in place in terms of social distancing with inside of our classroom. Since being forced to close their doors in March, Power Life has found at least one positive. Their online presence has blown up. We've been forced to be creative. No doubt the center offering up 200 50 free online yoga classes for the more than 7,000 subscribers to watch at home. Just keeping everybody happy and healthy during this. On the plaza, Alan Shope, KNBC 9 News. Power Life Yoga has been in Kansas City for five years with four area locations. They say their strict cleaning and disinfecting policy will continue after the doors reopen. We have new numbers tonight showing the confirmed cases in the Kansas City metro area. 54 new cases reported today. This chart shows you the largest number of cases in the nine county area come from Wyandotte County, Kansas City, Missouri, Jackson and Johnson counties. New tonight, Jackson County confirms that two of their long term care facilities have had three deaths each. That includes the Parkway Senior Living Center and Oak Grove Nursing and Rehab. The state of Kansas is reporting 247 new cases. There have been a total of 515 patients hospitalized for the virus in Kansas. Nearly half have been discharged. The United States now has more than 1 million cases. That's according to health officials from Johns Hopkins University. As cases continue to grow across the country, more people have fought and beaten COVID-19. 120,000 people have recovered. The U.S. reached 1 million cases. President Trump said says he's ready to start fading out social distancing measures. The president is sig signaling to governors to reopen just one week after he blasted Georgia for flouting the administration's social distancing guidelines. I think a way of saying it will they'll be fading out because now the governors are doing it. I am very much in favor of what they're doing. They're getting it going. Several states are deciding to reopen without meeting the national standards of two weeks of reduced cases. Dr. Anthony Fauci warned today to expect a bad fall and winter from a second wave of cases if the right countermeasures aren't put in place. FEMA awarded $23 million to Kansas for COVID-19 response. The money reimburses 75% of eligible costs associated with buying essential PPE and other medical supplies and equipment during the months of March and April. Truman Medical Center is offering COVID-19 testing tomorrow. It's set for the Jackson County Courthouse in Independence. It's from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. You must call ahead to get tested. The number to do that is 816-404-CARE.